Dear viewers, Namaskar. Welcome to this edition of the News Bulletin. In the headlines today, Shujani Mela Come Awards function held at PCS Department of Sale RSP. Sale RSP organizes Grand Sabha to mark the Good Governance Week as part of Azadi Kamrit Mahatsav. Beyond 100%. Workshop held at Research and Control Laboratory of SAIL, RSP. SAIL Rautila Steel Pan sponsors local youth for skill development training at CIPET Bhubaneswar. Horticulture Department of SAIL, RSP organizes garden layout competition for residents and institutions. Reconditioning job of AGC cylinder of hot strip mill by RSM Department of SAIL Rautila Steel Plan to lead to substantial savings. Mushroom cultivation training imparted by Sale RSP to the nearby villages. Prayas program organized for contract workers of Sale Rockla Steel Plant to mark the Good Governance Week. Health camp organized in the industrial slums by Sale Rockla Steel Plant. Sale Rockla Steel Plant signs MOU with STPI for Industry 4.0 COE and promotion of innovation and startup activities. Annual Prize Distribution Function held at Ispat Vidya Mandir of Sale RSP. Sale Rautla Steel Plant wins the prestigious People First HR Excellence Award 2021 in two categories. Sale RSP Badminton team bags runs up trophy in SPSB under Inter Steel Plant Badminton Championship 2021. Now the news in detail. A Shujani Mela Come Award function was organized at PCS Department of Sale Rorkela Steel Plant on 17th December 2021. Mr. Shekhar Narayan, GM Mechanical Shop, was the chief guest of the function. Present on the occasion were Mr. S. C. Sabat, GM Shops, SNF, Mr. B. K. Behra, AGM, IED, other officers and employees of the department. In his address, Mr. Narayan commended the recipients of the Shrujani Award and encouraged all to come up with innovative ideas and suggestions for the overall benefit of the plant. Mr. B. K. Behra elaborated on the status of Shrujani Creativity Scheme in the department. In all, 36 suggestions were awarded, out of which 28 have already been implemented. Cash award to the tune of Rs 5,800 has already been given to the employees. Around 50 fresh suggestions were collected during the Mela. Dr. Anil Kumar Malik, Assistant Manager, PCS, coordinated the program. Sale Rorkela Steel Plant organized a Gram Sabha at Bhaktega village of Nuagaon block on 20th December to mark the Good Governance Week, being observed as part of the Zadi Kamrit Mahatsav. Mr. Atish Chandra Sarkar, CGM Quality RSP, was the chief guest. Present on the occasion were Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM in charge, CSR, Ms. Lolati Topo, Senior Manager, PR, Raj Bhasa. The Chief Speaker, Mr. Maheshwar Eka, ex Sarpanch Bagdega Gram Panchayat, officials and staff of RSP and village elders. The Gram Sabha was attended by large numbers of villagers, including women, children, and youth. Addressing the gathering, Mr. Sarkar elucidated the various components of good governance such as transparency, integrity, lawfulness, sound policy, participation, accountability, responsiveness and the role of digitalization in the entire process, citing relevant examples. Ms. Topo highlighted the role and function of Gram Sabha in ensuring good governance. The talk was followed by a street play on Swachta performed by Mr. Bapi Palai of Blast Furnace Department and his team. At the outset, Ms. Munman Mitra delivered the welcome address while Mr. Maheshwar Eka proposed a formal vote of thanks. Mr. P.K. Khillar, Senior Manager, CSR and Mr. Ashok Mohanty, Senior Technician, CSR coordinated the activities and Mr. B. Eka, Senior Field Assistant, CSR anchored the event. 
It may be noted that the Good Governance Week is being observed in India from 20th to 26th December 2021 to mark the birth anniversary of former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee, whose birthday is on 25th December, which is earmarked as the Good Governance Day. A Beyond 100% workshop was organized at Research and Control Laboratory recently. Mr. Atish Chandra Sarkar, CGM Quality, presided over the meeting. Present on the occasion were other senior officers and employees of the department. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Sarkar explained the objective of Beyond 100% program and highlighted the importance of licensing and certification in the industry. The technical session comprised of safety talk by Ms. Rashmita Barla, senior chemist RCL, the need, importance and the key features of the various product licenses and certification practiced in RSP by Ms. Bharti Karova, manager technical RCL and various aspects of finance related to the job by Mr. P. Satyanarayan, GM RCL. It was followed by interaction session in which clarifications were provided with regard to doubts and concerns raised by the participants. The program was coordinated by Ms. Khushbu Mishra, Deputy Manager RCL, while Ms. Nivedita Samal, AGM RCL, proposed a formal vote of thanks. As a part of its CSR initiative, Sail Rockula Steel Plant has sponsored 10 local youth drawn from periphery villages for undergoing skill development training at Central Institute of Petrochemicals, Engineering and Technology, Bhubaneswar under the Department of Chemicals and Petrochemicals, Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers, Government of India. It is worth mentioning that CIPET will impart a six-month-long skill development training in plastic processing to the beneficiaries who have been chosen from the colonies and peripheral blocks of RSP. During the training, the students will learn the theory as well as the practical aspect of the sophisticated plastic technology in the state-of-the-art laboratories of CIPET. Right from preparation of the design in computer software to programming it in lathe machines, learning the injection molding techniques to operating blow molding machines, extrusion processes to maintenance of machines, the course will cover various aspects of plastic technologies. The program also offers placement after training through CIPET's training and placement cell for the sustainable livelihood of these youngsters. Beside the skill development, the program shall also help impart entrepreneur skills to the trainees. Before the students proceeded to Bhubaneswar, a counselling session was organised with them at the CSR department on 4th December 2021. Mr. Anup Kumar Datta, the then GM in charge centering plant, Ms. Munmun Mitra, GM CSR, Mr. Biswajit Beura, faculty CIPET and Ms. Ranjita Khalko, chairperson Lachikata Block, the key person of the project, interacted with the youngsters and exhorted them to make the most of the course and shape their future path. A senior officer of CSR Department of RSP later visited CIPET Bhubaneswar and interacted with the students and the faculty members to ensure that the youngsters have adapted themselves with the academic environment of the institute. With a view to develop and maintain greenery as well as to imbibe a culture of love towards nature, the Horticulture Department, a unit of Town Engineering Department of Sale Rockula Steel Plant, is organizing garden layout competitions in different categories for the residents of the steel township as well as different offices and establishments of the steel plant. The competition will be held for separate categories of quarters, schools, public premises and office buildings. The criteria for the awards will be based on neatness and cleanliness of the garden, layout and design, lawn, hedge and borders, vegetable gardening and planting of fruit trees, seasonal flowers, shrubs and other ornamental plants. Interested participants may apply with proper format or before 5th January 2022 to DGM Horticulture and in charge ZDP Horticulture Department Sector 4 Raurkela. The applications may also be sent through email in the ID abhijit.biswas at sale.in. The award winners will be given cash award and certificate of merit for their enterprising endeavors.
It's the enterprising endeavors of the Shop Repair Shop Mechanical Collective of Sail Ralkla Steel Plant has helped in successful completion of the critical job of reconditioning of AGC cylinder of hot strip mill for the first time since inception. Notably, the hydraulic automatic gauge control cylinders are vital equipments of the rolling mills. These sophisticated cylinder systems automatically adjust the roll gap to provide accurate product gauge control. The AGC cylinder of HSM that has come to repair at RSM could not be put to operation in hot strip mill stand because of various technical incompatibilities. Hence, it was planned to recondition the AGC cylinder. Accordingly, multiple meetings with HSM were conducted and a detailed repair methodology was prepared to expedite the first-time critical job. Drawings were made in-house by taking into consideration the actual OEM drawing. The job was taken in vertical boring machine to modify the base hole where the temposonic arrangement was to be fitted. All these precision mechanizing of bore was carried out, sleeves were developed and fitted, seals were replaced and finally assembly was done. This in-house endeavor has led to a substantial savings of rupees 14 lakhs. This is yet another example of the commitment and technical expertise of the RSM collective. The department has been tapping the available technical expertise and is exploring avenues to meaningfully contribute in the initiatives of the plant to reduce the cost of production. A two-day mushroom cultivation training was organized at the Institute of Periphery Development of Royal Class Steel Plant on 17th and 18th December 2021. Mr. Deep Pradhan, DGM CSR, presided over the opening and closing session of the training program. Also present were other officials of the department. In all, 15 persons, 14 females and 1 male of Kardega and Purnapani of Nuaga block attended the training program. The sessions included theoretical inputs of Dhingri Chhatu mushroom cultivation process along with practical demonstration. After the completion of the training program, each trainee is given a bottle of mushroom seed to cultivate at their respective places and motivate others for the same. The training was imparted by master trainers Mr. Tintas Vengra and Mr. Benedict Ekka, both from CSR department. The function was coordinated by Mr. Benedict Ekka. A special session of Prayas, an awareness program for contract workmen, was organized on 21st December 2021 at Central Park Training Institute of Sale Rogla Steel Plant to mark the ongoing observation of Good Governance Week. In all, 22 contract labors attended the program. Mr. A. N. Mishra, CGM Projects, along with Mr. C. G. Ramalingam, GM, Personal, CLC and Projects, facilitated the interaction session and spoke about the importance of the session and clarified various doubts of the contract labor pertaining to benefits, statutory provisions like ESI and Provident Fund, etc. Special emphasis was laid on safety and a session on behavioral-based safety was taken by Mr. Avinash, Manager Personal. He highlighted the importance of safe working practices and the roles and responsibilities related to safety at the work spot. Ms. Madhusmita Mishra, Executive Assistant Personal CLC, briefed the participants on rights, benefits, responsibilities and issues such as wage structure, bank payment, pay slip, ESI and PF coverage, medical benefits, etc. Mr. Bharat Mahanto, Assistant Manager Personal Projects, dealt with various provisions of SA 8000 like child labor, forced labor, provisions of health and safe working environment, rights, discrimination, working hours, safety, wages, etc. through movies, video clippings and stories. Ms. Sangeeta M. Sindur, Manager, Personal CLC, conducted the wrap-up session while 
Mr. S. K. Lenka, Labor Inspector, CLC, coordinated the program. Notably, Prayas is a communication program being organized by RSP for contract workmen working in RSP for their welfare wherein standards and provisions are explained to them in a simple and lucid manner. Till date, 5052 contract workmen have been covered under the scheme. Sale Rockland Steel Plant RSP is committed to the health and well-being of its employees as well as the underprivileged persons living in the industrial township. To make the healthcare facility accessible to the needy, the CSR Department of RSP in collaboration with Ispa General Hospital has been organizing health checkup camps at different locations both within and outside the township on a regular basis. On 10th December 2021, a health camp was organized at Shiva Mandir Basti, Sector 14 for the residents of the area through the mobile medical unit. The camp was coordinated by the CSR team. In all, 93 persons were examined and treated by Dr. Trupti Mai Barik, pediatrician and Dr. B. Mishra, gynecologist. Biochemistry blood tests were also carried out and 21 random blood sample tests were collected to assess the health issues prevalent in the area necessary for taking appropriate precautionary measures. Medicines as per prescription of the doctors was distributed free of cost to the patients. A memorandum of understanding was signed between Sale Rockla Steel Plant and Software Technology Park of India for Industry 4.0 Center of Entrepreneurship on Emerging Technologies and Promotion of Innovation and Startup Activities. Mr. S. R. Suryavanshi, Executive Director Works, RSP and Mr. Manas Panda, Jurisdictional Director, STPI Bhuneshwar, Orissa, Bihar and Jharkhand signed the MOU on behalf of their respective organizations in the presence of senior officers from STPI and SAIL RSP. The MOU was signed on 23rd December 2021 in a program organized at Electropreneur Park, Bhuneshwar. Notably, the primary objective of the MOU is to forge strong and meaningful alliance between STPI and CLRSP to support the upcoming STPI COE on emerging technologies in Bhuneshwar and Raurkala, known as MTEC, which is being established with funding support from Ministry of Electronics and IT, Government of India, and Electronics and IT Department, Government of Odisha. The MOU envisages a strong cooperation in mentoring, access to infrastructure and facilities, networking and funding. Both STPI and SAIL RSP will encourage smooth exchange of information and knowledge and work out a plan of action to leverage mutual strengths with rich experience of STPI in technology implementation and SAIL RSP with strong industry perspective strengthened by excellence in industrial production research and manufacturing, R&D, and so on. The state-of-art facilities to come up in Bhuneshwar with the satellite center at BPU Tirolkala as one of the leading centers of entrepreneurship of STPI would be the focal point of all initiatives by both the organizations under this MOU. Notably, RSP has been contributing to nation building under Make in India initiative of Government of India by making available high quality steel products like plate meal plates, HR plates, HR coils, ERW pipes, SW pipes, CR sheets and coils, galvanized sheets, silicon steel sheets, export slats, etc., which are being used for massive automation. The collaboration between the two giants will help build a strong platform and boost innovation and promote startup innovation as well as boost innovation-led entrepreneurship in the state. 
Further, the MOU is envisaged to provide catalytic improvements in the digitalization, drive and implementation of Industry 4.0 standards at RSP. The annual prize distribution ceremony was organized at Ispat Vidya Mandir Sector 19 of Sale Rolkla Steel Plant on 18 December 2021. Mr. P. K. Das, GM in charge town services, was the chief guest of the occasion and Mr. M. K. Agarwal, GM town services education, was the guest of honor. Present on the occasion were other senior officers, teachers, students and staff of the institution. In their addresses, the guests encouraged the students to perform well and to bring laurels to the institution not only in academics but also in extracurricular activities like sports, performing arts, etc. The guest also presented prizes to the students for their outstanding performance in the annual higher secondary examination 2021 of CHSC Odisha and school annual examinations as well as winners of various literary and cultural activities. At the outset, Mrs. Pushpa Khanum, headmistress of the institution, presented the annual report. Mr. K. Nayak, AGMTS, delivered the welcome address. Mr. A. Ogata, Manager TS Education proposed a formal vote of thanks. The program was anchored by Ms. Pujarani Parida. Before closing its tenure, the calendar year 2021 has brought another moment to rejoice for sale, Rotla Steel Plant. The steel plant has won the prestigious People First HR Excellence Award 2021 in two categories, namely Leading Practices in Pandemic Response and Leading practi Practices in Internal Communication. The awards were announced in the function held online on 22nd December 2021. Mr. Amarendu Prakash, DIC Bokaro Steel Plant and Rotla Steel Plant has congratulated the Team RSP for winning the awards and said that this reinforces the care, concern and commitment of RSP towards its greatest assets, that is people. He has also praised the employees for successfully navigating RSP through the turbulent times of the pandemic. The application document on leading practices in pandemic response elaborated the way Rotla Steel Plant scaled its response to COVID-19 pandemic to prevent and minimize the spread of the virus by addressing the four key areas, intensifying communication initiatives, strengthening medical facilities, setting protocols in workplace and township, and engaging with employees, other stakeholders and local community to break the chain. It also highlighted Rotla Steel Plant's response to the call of the nation during the second wave of COVID-19 by supplying liquid medical oxygen to every corner of the country. The document elucidated the massive steps taken up by the Mammoth Organization for the welfare of the, its employees, contract labor, as well as the poor and underprivileged living in and around Rotla. Ms. S. M. Sindur, Manager, Personal CLC, Health, made the presentation on this theme. Leading practices in internal communication highlighted the various communication initiatives taken by RSP across all levels of the organization to strengthening stakeholders' involvement and ownership in the affairs of the company. Ms. Simpi Patel, Assistant Manager, Personal, had made the presentation before the jury on this theme. The team comprising Mr. Dhirendra Mishra, GM in charge personal works, Mr. S. K. Mehrotra, GM personal, Mr. S. K. Deo, DGM personal, Mr. S. K. Behra, manager personal, Mr. Somadatta Tripathi, manager personal, carried out the groundwork in preparation of the application documents that helped in bringing laurels for the company. Notably, this year more than 150 nominations were received in the overall categories from across a cross section of industries including manufacturing, automobile, telecom, IT, banking, financial services, insurance and hospitality. The badminton team of Sale Rockler Steel Plant backed the runners-up trophy in the Steel Plant Sports Board Enter Steel Plant Badminton Championship 2021 held at Bukhara from 10th December to 12th December 2021, the RSP team lost to Vizek Steel Plant in the final match to back the second place in the tournament. The team RSP comprised Mohammad M. Rashid, R. Tung, Pramit Kumar Mahanti and Ankit Sahu. Mr. R. Naveen and Mr. Ashutosh Dalai, both managers of New Plate Mill were the manager and the coach of the team respectively. 
Notably, eight teams from Vizag Steel Plant, Tata Steel, Salem Steel Plant, Durgapur Steel Plant, Isco Steel Plant, Rautla Steel Plant and the host Bukharo Steel Plant took part in the tournament. The RSP team won all its group matches exhibiting exceptional performance to top the group and reach the semis. The team considered as formidable amongst all the teams registered convincing victory over Bukharo to book a place in the finals. In a function organized at Biju Patnaik Hockey Stadium, set to 5 on 18th December 2021, Mr. B.K. Roth, GM, P.H. and S.W. felicitated the team for their outstanding performance. Mr. R. N. Pari, Assistant Manager Sports coordinated the function. That's all for today's news. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos.